Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the best topping in Oracle Application Express. Sometimes we do not have a real data, sometimes we have a data in Excel, sometimes we have a data in CSV, sometimes we have a data in Notepad, sometimes we have a data in text file. So how to upload that data into Oracle Application Express in Oracle Apex 20.1 version? So the data which I have that is about uh, weather data set, weather all weather data set. So it contains this file contains 8,000, uh, 8,829 records. So how to upload these data, this data into Oracle application? Let's come to our builder, open Oracle application express, and and after that come to our builder create so commonly we select new application we do not need to create new application we create from a file we create application from file exists in csv xlss xml or json file so let me select the second one okay after that let's uh, select drag and drop that uh, data all weather so we have to wait a little bit and there are some settings some options are given we, we, have, we need to set them first of all load to a new table or existing table for example if we have created existing tables and that is empty we, we need to uh, up, uh, import that data so we haven't created any existing table we have we don't have any existing so what is the name of the table all weather data and need to select table owner HR human resource will be the owner of this table primary keys identity columns identity column is the primary key here column headers yes it contains column header if we haven't selected if we do not select this one so because it will Mm, like it will look like this column one column two column th uh, three like this so we have to because we have a header column here we have let's come to the first of index date in time station id year temp so these are the headers so we have to select this one in our column delimiter mean two columns are delimited mean separated by what comma semicolon uh, mean single single L like or we can hash tape so what is the column delimiter so because I have used here is the semicolon because into uh, zero semicolon then date uh, uh, then after that semicolon uh, double quotation and then after that semicolon so it means that the column de delimiter is semicolon and after that enclosed by mean what for example we have here uh, buyer beer mean buyer they are enclosed by double quotations and either column some numerical co columns are not needed to be enclosed by any other uh, special character or special symbols and and after that we have to check preview the table it will look like this index data time station id and like this load data table name already exists okay table all underscore weather underscore data one we have to because we have already uploaded once so this is the second time so we have to all underscore weather underscore data one means the second table so this is the process all the rules all these rules will be imported to the applications to the tables so 8800 uh, eight, sorry 80829 rules will be imported so it takes a little time 15 16 of 800 or 17 it will take a little time
now it is 80,830 rows are uploaded or created in the table all underscore weather underscore data one mean this this is the second uh, tables that I have created uh, so this table is created and these rows uh, have been imported to the tables so if you want to view the tables so we can view if so this is a table or if you want to create a report from that we can create let me create uh, an application sorry new application weather app for example the app is name is weather and here we have to select the schema schema hr the schema so hr contains that tables no create applications now the application is created we have to run the applications and here we have to add one report reports interactive grid or interactive reports so for example weather data sets model normal so normal date create new navigation and we have to select a table all underscore weather underscore data and this is the second tables that we have uh, imported and create So the report is being created. We have to open the applications with app and check that there is there is weather data set. So this is uh, the report. So only 50 records are being shown in each page so we can check all the records by 50 50 100 so all the records will be shown so this is a simple report from an imported file so like this is a way that we can import any csv uh, text xls file to and we can create applications in that thank you so much and subscribe our channel for more videos and lectures